myself prakash birla assistant professor amlu textile institute bilwada today is i will discuss the viscose rayon manufacturing process viscose rayon is the oldest commercial fiber viscose rayon belongs to regenerated cellulosic fiber family viscose rayon is a naturally regenerated cellulosic fiber that can be made from naturally occurring cellulose based material and maybe cotton linters or wood pulp or you can say any source of cellulose material it can be found in cotton like and uses as well as silk like and uses due to its fine silk like properties it is also known as artificial silk the chemical structure of the viscose rayon you can see here it just resemble with the cotton fiber but the degree of polymerization is much lower about 300 to 700 depends on the type of viscose rayon fiber the manufacturing process involve the various steps that is stripping shredding aging gentrification dissolving ripening filtering degassing spinning and drying stripping is the first process cellulose pulp is immersed in a 17.5% to 20% aqueous sodium solution at a temperature between 18 to 25 degree centigrade and for 1 to 3 hours and during this the cellulose molecules react with the caustic soda and get converted into soda cast, uh, soda cellulose and this soda cellulose is highly reactive in nature and during the stripping the this the paper boards get swell and the excess amount of caustic soda get absorbed by this paper boards so to remove the excess caustic soda the paper boards are squeezed but the controlled squeezing is required to avoid the x to avoid the to remove the excess amount of noh means the controlled quantity of noh is remain must be present in the paper boards these paper boards are now next fit to the next operation that is shredding shredding is a nothing it's a cutting process these paper soda cellulose boards paper boards now fed to the shredder machine it is having a mechanical rotator in which the blades are available with a serrated blades and these serrated blades cut the paper boards into a small size crumbs and these crumbs just nothing a snow like white mass and to avoid the during this mechanical operation the temperature may rise so therefore the temperature is controlled by in the out out in the outer outer jacket of the shredding machine the cold water is continuously flow to maintain the temperature of the pro whole process now this snow like mass is now stored in the next operation that is aging aging is nothing it is just storage storage of cut paper boards snow like mass and for 2 to 3 days at room temperature and during this uh, these are uh, the, these crumbs are stored in a stainless steel drums which is having some uh, lid air tight lid so no outside air can go inside and during this process of aging the depolymerization of cellulose is carried out the degree of polymerization of cellulose earlier that in the start of the paper boards that was the 2000 is reduced to the level of below than 300 to make the final spinning solution for the which is requirement of a finance uh, suitable spinning solution preparation so therefore cellulose is dp is reduced to the below than 300 and the oxygen which is already available 
in the inside the drum is sufficient for the depolymerization to speed up the aging the one can raise the temperature inside the drums next is genthation genth the aged crumbs now the gen uh, treated with the carbon disulfide a 32% solution of cs2 is added in the churners or you can say genthation during the genthation process at room temperature and the genthation is also called the process of churning during in the churning the churners just like a cement churners hexagonal drums uh, horizontal drums these are rotated at a very slow speed of 3 to 4 rpm and during this process the soda cellulose which is highly reactive in nature is react with cs2 and get convert into soda cellulose genthate a genthate or you can say the cellulose genthate derivative this genthate the color of the genthate initially that was the white is as the after 3 to 6 hours of complete reaction it get convert into finally honey like mass a clear honey so viscous solution is prepared during the genthation this honey like mass brown solution deep brown solution is transferred to the next operation during this the dissolving is carried out in this the cellulose genthate soda cellulose genthate is dissolved in a highly aqueous caustic soda solution that is about 6 to 6.5% solution is concentration is required and a viscous solution is prepared during dissolution then finally go for ripening but before go to the ripening the mixing and blending is carried out for homogenize homogenizing the final product from different batches the so the complete mixing is carried out from different batches and finally go for the ripening process ripening is nothing it's a uh, you can say the just storage of the highly viscous solution in stainless steel granulized steel drums and during this process the redistribution of the genthate group occurs means the during the redistribution of the genthate groups or cs2 groups within the chain or between the cellulosic chains and du during this operation the initial viscosity get drop down and after the redistribution or rearrangement of the cs2 group is completed it again reaches to the its original value <coughs> and before go to the spinning the ripeness figure can be examined by the help of hottenroth number or salt index number test in the laboratory then ripened solution is ripened solution is filtered and degassed and then the viscous solution go for the spinning purpose now in the spinning the wet spinning is carried out during the spinning the viscous rayon filament is prepared the viscous solution is extruded forcefully metered in a spin rate spin rate is situated in a coagulating bath tub the coagulating bath tub is having the sulfuric acid and sodium cell uh, soda uh, sodium sulfate and uh, zinc sulfate and rest is the water and some other additives you can add the sulfuric acid is work as a regenerating agent sodium sulfate is act as a, a salt uh, salt forming agent and zinc sulfate is act as a compound forming agent and the concentration of the h2so4 is kept 8 to 10% sodium sulfate is 16 to 24% zinc sulfate is 1 to 2% and during the spinning first 
the coagulation is takes place with the help of sodium sulfate as the, as the sodium ion and h ion and z ion, zinc ion both all these three ions are uh, remain active in the coagulating and regenerating bath tub so sodium sulfate first so coagulation and gelation takes place or you can say this uh, liquid stream get convert into a semi solid mass and the take up roller where the continue, the take up roller speed is kept slightly higher and at the simultaneously during the gelation uh, uh, and h ion due to the h ion activity the regeneration starts the cast soda cellulose xanthate react with the h ion and that re replace the first convert into soda cellulose xanthate convert into cellulose xanthic acid and then cell cellulose xanthic acid is further split into pure cellulose and cs2 so the re regeneration takes place and you can see here the line diagram for the viscous strain manufacturing in which the stripping then shredding xanthation and finally ripening and spinning is carried out